In this module, we'll use the Process Lab to debug our workflow. Process Lab is a developer's tool that enables you to analyze workflow execution in a controlled environment. You can walk through the workflow activity by activity and simultaneously view the activity status, which includes data and metadata, at every stage of the workflow. In order to properly use Process Lab, you need necessary workflow permissions to view an activity or submit data, depending on your requirements. There are two options for using Process Lab. You can start a new instance or open an existing instance. It's especially helpful to open an existing instance when there are errors in the workflow, allowing you to identify and return to the errors to work through them. You can also stop debugging the workflow at any point and return later to debug the same instance. A few important things to note. Process Lab displays all activities, both human activities and server-side activities, which normally do not display in the runtime activity tree. Finally, Process Lab runs on the regular runtime engine. So any instance generated in Process Lab acts like a production instance, meaning messages are sent and tasks are assigned and so on, unless these features are disabled. In this module, we'll be adding a breakpoint to the workflow in Process Lab for debugging purposes. Breakpoints provide control and flexibility when analyzing a workflow by halting workflow execution where you insert the breakpoint. It's important to note that when you add a breakpoint during a specific workflow production, the breakpoint carries over to all future analyzing instances of the workflow until it is manually removed, but it does not affect previously started instances. We'll walk you through all of this in the module. To start, let's access the workflow. From the top ribbon, click Process Lab. Select Start a New Instance and click Continue. Double click the Services Requested Container. Right click the connector between the Service Request Details form and the IFLS activity and select Breakpoint. Double click the Service Request Details form and complete the form. From the top banner, click Workflow. Right-click the connector between the Service Request Details form and the IFELS activity and select Remove Breakpoint. From the top banner, click Quick Watch. Then click the ellipsis to access the Expression Editor. Expand the Metadata node and double-click Workflow Instance ID. From the top ribbon, click Validate. Now from the top ribbon, click Event Viewer. This displays the entire sequence log, not only your local events. Be sure to check out the other videos in this module and the additional resources.